Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well YouTube tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and today I'm going to wrap up the Docker machine uh, tutorials by demonstrating the basic commands, the other basic commands that I didn't get around to demonstrating in the previous tutorials. So previously I showed you how to create a machine, uh, list machines, switch between machines, and so forth. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show some other commands such as uh, changing the state of the machine and so forth. So let's just dive in. Let's just do docker machine ls. And we can see that there's one machine running temp2.sysadmin.local. Um, it's not active. And as I mentioned before in the previous uh, tutorials, um, active means that, uh, it's, that this machine doesn't have its environment variable set to this, this bash shell. Um, but it is running, so please don't confuse those two. So it, it is running, which means that if there was something running at this IP address, then it would actually still be running, okay? It just means that you can't run um, docker ps minus a uh, because there isn't actually a, a, a docker uh, machine that is active. But uh, I'll get on to the actual other Docker commands in future episodes. So let's just go back to this one. Okay. So let's um, let's let's uh, let's stop this Docker machine because we can see that it's running. Its state is running. So to stop it, we would do Docker machine stop, and we would pass in the name of the machine, which is temp two dot sys admin dot uh, and I'm missing an s there on I sys sys admin uh, dot local so what that's going to do is it's going to stop the machine so if I run that now you can see that it's stopping temp2 dot sys admin dot local um, and you can see it stopped so machine temp2 dot sys admin dot local was stopped so if I was to run uh, ls again to list out the machines we can see that its state has has stopped um, and it no longer has the, the the URL and the Docker version is unknown because it has stopped. So let's just clear that machine, clear that uh, screen. Um, likewise, with stopping machine, we can also start a machine. So I'm just going to go back here and then type in replace stop with start. And this takes a little bit longer because it's having to regenerate the IP address and, and so forth and the SSH clients and all of that governs. So it's checking for the network and it's recreating the, the IPs at the moment. The next one it's going to uh, do some bits and pieces with the SSH um, uh, certificates. So uh, as I said, this does sometimes take a bit of time to, to do, but uh, hopefully it'll come back shortly okay here we go so we can see that it, the machine was started it then start it then waited for the ssh to be available it then detected the provisioner and then it it started the machine now notice this warning here the machines may have a new ip address and so you may wish to run the docker machine env now this env command is the command that i showed in the previous uh, docker tutorial docker machine tutorial and that gets the environment variables for the current Docker machine. So then you can evaluate those to the shell and therefore that becomes active. So let's just uh, do Docker machine LS. So we can see that it's running again and it has this, uh, this new URL. Okay, so we've stopped it, we've started it, but uh, of course we can also restart it as well. So whoops docker machine and then we're going to type in restart and the name of the machine so temp2.sysadmin.local and what this is going to do is it's going to restart that machine and like uh, the starting of a machine it uh, it will take a little bit of time because again it has to um, uh, check for the network and recreate if it needs to um, potentially give it a different IP address so you will also get that warning again um, so now sometimes when I do this um, 
it depends on the order in which the the, the machines are in. Um, sometimes I have to recreate the certificates, and I'll show you the command to do that in a minute. So now we've got the uh, the Docker has restarted, and again we've got the warning about the IP address. But because there's only one Docker machine here, I'm pretty sure if I was to let's just clear that to remove all of that. If I was to do Docker machine ls again, the IP usually starts at uh, or ends with dot uh, one hundred. So if there was say two machines and I was to swap the the, the re remove the first one and then re and 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 start it again and and so forth and sometimes these IP addresses will will switch. The more you've more machines you've got, the more chance of that to hap to happen. There are some scripts that you can get from GitHub that uh, allow you to uh, run these with static IPs and and so forth, but um, that's probably for uh, another tutorial. So we've done starting and we've done stopping and we've done restarting, but you might want to discover what the status is of the machine of only that one particular machine. So for example, you could have a whole number, a whole table of machines here, and you might only be interested in, in the one machine, the state of the one machine. So to do that, you would run Docker, whoops, Docker, if I could spell it right, Docker, there we go. Docker machine and we would run status and again the name of that machine so temp uh, 2.sysadmin.local and we could see that it's running. Now if I was to uh, stop that machine that would change to stop so for example if I did uh, uh, da -da -da -da. yeah if I was to stop it and that, so that stops the machine And then I did, whoops, uh, the status of the machine, we should see uh, that it stopped. I don't know why that took a little bit of time to do, but uh, we should see that it stopped. Okay, so the other um, commands that I can show you uh, will actually require these Docker machines to be running. So let's, uh, let's just clear that out again and start the machine. And whilst that's starting, I'm just going to open up another tab and then do Docker machine because what I would like to do is run the uh, find out the help command and then discuss a little bit about these uh, the, the commands that you can do because there's quite a few. Um, so uh, so these commands, the, this one here, active. So if you did Docker machine and then typed in active and then typed in the the name of the machine. It will print the the machine that is currently active. Um, same with config. The cre create one is the one of the first ones I showed in a previous uh, tutorial, and that's how you actually create the machine. You also specify the the driver and the config that you want to create it with, and so forth. env again is the command that prints out the environment variables and inspect, which is one I'll show you in a minute, as well as ip. These will actually uh, return the comp uh, configuration and information about the machine and so forth. IP will return the IP address. Uh, kill, you can actually kill the machine. Uh, list is the one I've been using quite frequently which lists all the machines and so forth. Uh, we can uh, reprovision uh, existing machines and regenerate the certificates. So these are the SSH certificates, TLSS, TLS certificates for a machine and so forth. Uh, we can restart machine, which is what I've just showed you, and we can remove one. Uh, other uh, commands such as uh, SCP um, and SSH are ones that I can show you in in future tutorials. SCP is great because you can copy files uh, between machines and so forth, pretty much like you would in uh, just using the standard uh, secure copy and paste protocol. Uh, and then uh, we can upgrade machines, stop machines, get the status and start the machines uh, as normal and find the URL and the versions and this is the, the help. So hopefully if I was to close this terminal down and go back to the original we can see that it's now started. So let's do docker, docker machine ls just to ensure that, yep, so 
so that started. So one of the ones that I want to, sh another command that I, I would like to show you is, uh, let's just clear that screen to make some room. So let's do Docker machine and let's say we want to find the IP address of that particular machine. So it's temp, uh, temp2 dot sysadmin dot local and again uh, much like the status command this is very handy if you've got several machines and you only want to find the IP of a particular machine so we can see that that IP address is is uh, this one here 92.168.99.100 another command that I will show is the inspect command because that's pretty handy so let's do uh, docker machine inspect and then the machine name so temp to dot, dot uh, sys oops sysadmin dot local okay so what we've got here what that's returned is a json uh, formatted um, output of the configuration and the information of the of the machine so we can see that uh, we have the version of the configuration uh, we've got the driver information as well so the ip address the machine name, the SSH user, and the port. Um, we can also find from here the the, the memory usage, um, and the CPU and the disk size and so forth. Um, and then we can find the driver name. So for this one, for example, we're using VirtualBox. And then we can find out some host options and the uh, engine options as well uh, for things like IP IPv6 and other bits and pieces. Um, swarm options. Now, swarm is quite uh, an interesting uh, thing with Docker because it uh, helps to create uh, networks or works with networks and so forth. Um, it's a little bit above and beyond this tutorial, um, but I can uh, definitely show you that uh, in the future. And then we've got some authentication options. So uh, the the options used for authenticating uh, to the machine, and then of course, finally, the the, the machine name that we've created. Okay, so that's uh, that's a wrap up really of the Docker uh, machine commands. So, in the next couple of weeks, I will be producing um, some more Docker tutorials that are slightly more complicated. So, we, we're starting to move into things like uh, Docker images and Docker containers and what you can do with the wonderful world of uh, of of Docker. But um, that's for now. That, um, that's uh, that's all for now. If uh, if you've got any comments, questions, then please leave them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe to catch get uh, get the next couple of uh, tutorials. Uh, I try and produce at least one a week. Um, and uh, like the video and share it along if uh, if you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Cheers. Goodbye.